Writer Steve Allman tells very good stories. He's the author of 10 books. He hosts the Dear Sugars podcast and writes the Sweet Spot column in the New York Times with Cheryl Strayed. His new book is also very good, but it's about bad stories. In fact, that's the name of it, bad stories. And by bad, he means fraudulent, either by design or negligence. Stories that shape our national narrative and shape history. Stories like Donald Trump could never win the presidency. He's pure entertainment. The book is also about stories we choose to tell. James Comey announcing new Hillary Clinton emails days before the election, but not revealing an investigation into the Trump campaign ties to Russia. Or the New York Times assigning nine reporters to tell the story of the Clinton emails before Comey closed the investigation because, as he said, he found nothing to investigate. Steve Allman joins us in the studio with more. Steve, good to see you as always. Yes, good to see you. And we should say you were a regular on this program before you got just too famous. And also, <laughs> you are an unabashed. Is that what happened? Yes, right. you are an unabashed liberal who writes with tremendous empathy for Trump voters who had real issues about jobs, for instance. But you say heard bad stories about the truth about, let's say, steel belt jobs or wages. But start with stories and what stories mean to you and why it bothers you so when they're bad. Well, I think stories are the basic unit of consciousness, human consciousness. They're how we construct reality. And every bad outcome is the result of a set of bad stories that we tell ourselves or we consent to. And that's what I was trying to do, take a step back from history and say, how did we arrive in such a moment? So much hatred, so much venom, and so little attempt to solve problems. And you assign it to bad stories. And by the way, along the way, we hear from some of the good, some of the best stories, actually. You quote from Moby Dick, Conrad's Heart of Darkness, The Great Gatsby, also nonfiction, Mencken, Neil Postman's 